Welcome to the channel, everyone. In today's video, we're going to go over how to set up order defaults within the Fidelity Active Trader Pro platform. Now, an order default is simply the order that automatically comes up when you guys go to place a trade. For example, if I were to look at my Facebook chart right here and I were to right click anywhere on the chart, from there I get a little menu with uh, some order ticket options, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the buy button. As soon as I click on that, you can see a little order ticket pop up in the upper left hand corner. Now, right there, you can see a lot of these boxes are already pre-filled in. So right there, it says I want to buy 10 shares with a limit order with a price at 208.79. That's the current asking price, and it's a day order only. So this is what I've set up as my order default. Anytime I go to buy some shares of stock, it's going to pre-fill in that I want to buy 10 shares at a time. I want to use a limit order. I want to buy at the current asking price, and I want the order good for the day only. So setting order defaults can really quicken up your trades, make your trades much quicker getting in and getting out so you don't have to fill in all of these boxes every single time. Now in order for us to do this ourselves, to set order defaults on both stock and options, let's go ahead and first exit out of this, and then I'm going to come up here to the upper right hand corner and click on the settings menu. Now this menu is where you guys can access most of the platform settings within Active Trader Pro. That would include things like adjusting the color scheme of the platform, setting the alert notification settings, and in our case, the order defaults. Now, in order to access the order defaults, we're going to come down and select the trade button. From there, we're going to get a little pop-up window, and you'll see up here at the top, we've got a tab for stock defaults as well as option defaults. So in this first example, let's go ahead and flip over to the stock defaults. And right there, you can see my default quantity right now is 10 shares. But let's say I typically only trade, let's say, five shares at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that over to five. At the moment, you can also see my default order type right now is currently a limit order. But if you wanted to change that, you would simply click on that and see all of the other order types available to you. Now, in my case, I do typically place limit orders, but you guys can flip it to something else. But in my case, I'm going to leave it. And then right below that, we can also change the time and force. Let's say you wanted to make this good until canceled. Typically, I could always flip this over to GTC right here. At the moment, we're going to skip over default conditions. Just go ahead and leave that as none for right now. And then the preset buy limit and preset sell limit. This is the price that automatically goes in the box when you're setting a limit order or a stop order. Now, in my case, you can see that I'm putting in at the current asking price or at the current bid when I'm buying or selling. But if you guys click on that, you do have several different options depending on the price that you automatically want to go in that box. Now, in my case, I am just going to leave it as buy at the ask and sell at the bid. So it's basically going to go in at whatever the current price is, the best prices I can buy and sell it for right now. Now that I'm happy with the stock defaults, the next thing I'm going to do is flip over to the options defaults. So now as of right now, you can see my default quantity is currently 10 contracts at a time. And for me, typically I only trade one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there. Right below that, you can see my default order type is still a limit order. And I'm actually going to leave that. But you guys can see the other order types just like before, right down below. Right below that, you do have the ability to set the time and force just like in the previous example. Day order, GTC, fill or kill, or immediate or cancel. Now, I doubt you guys will ever set fill or kill or immediate or cancel, but they are available to you. Most likely, you're either going to use a day order or GTC. In my case, I'm going to leave it as a day order only. Now, besides that, the only other thing we need to set is our predefined limit prices. So I'm going to change this from none selected to, again, buy at the ask. And I'm going to change this from that to sell at the bid. So now that I'm happy with those order defaults we just set, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And now if I were to come up here to the chart for Facebook again, and I were to right click on it and say buy, this time you can see that my order ticket is slightly different. I'm putting in an order ticket to buy five shares with a limit order at 208.56, the current asking price, but now it's a GTC order. Now if I were to flip to the options next, and I were to come over here to the option chain, and let's say I wanted to buy the 210 calls right here for $3.70, Looking down below, you can now see my order ticket is to buy to open one of the April 20, 2022, 210 calls with a limit price at the current asking price, 370, and it's a day order only. So hopefully you guys see creating order defaults for yourself can really speed up your trading later down the line so you don't have to pre-fill all of these things in every single time you go to place a trade. But that is just about everything you guys need to know to set order defaults yourself on the Active Trader Pro platform. If you guys want to learn more about the platform, be sure to check out my other tutorial videos. But we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next video.